This is the future. So the wolf-inspired Warframe has been buff and I think it's safe to say that she is good right now without any Helminth abilities, I guess. At release, Vorana was a great Warframe but there was something missing, and it's the fact that her fourth ability is replaceable by Helminth. Don't get me wrong, the ability is good, but it's simply sync when compared to Vorana's other abilities. Just imagine a final ability being mediocre compared to her basic abilities. By the way, before we continue, I would like to remind you that I am giving away 3000 Platinum as a way to celebrate Liu as Bray update and crossplay release. To join the giveaway, simply click the link I have included in the pinned comment below, and you will be redirected to the giveaway page. Follow the instructions on how to join, and that's it, you now have entered the giveaway and have a chance to win the 3000 Platinum. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on one of my Twitch live stream, so if you have time, come and hang out with us. The link to my Twitch channel is also included in the pinned comment, below the giveaway link. Thank you so much and now, let us continue with the video. So this is just a quick heads up, and some sort of review on the changes of Vorana's fourth ability. After one week of Liu Asprey being in your hands and reading players feedback, Digital Extremes have a few changes to Vorana's fourth ability. Ulfron's Descent. The majority of Vorana's feedback has been centered around this ability and its damage output, with the desire to make it feel more deadly. Ultimately, they have added 20% critical chance and 1.5 times critical damage to the ability. Aside from that, every kill increases critical chance by 5% and critical damage by 0.5 times. Also, they enable a synergy that allows Shroud of Dina's critical damage buffs to also apply now to Ulfron's Descent. In paper, these changes actually make the Wolf-inspired Warframe extremely good, but in practice, it looks unreliable. The thing is Vorana's fourth ability does deal good damage, but when it comes to high-level target, it doesn't have that capability to one-shot enemies and take advantage of the new buffs. I mean, it can one-shot those high-level targets with no armor and shield, but those tough enemies, especially those special units like Eximus that has overguard, Vorana's fourth ability fails to be that ultimate skill that can dismember a target with one shot. My suggestion is, if Digital Extremes really want her fourth ability to be as deadly as possible, allow the buff to proc when Vorana kills a target with any damage over time status. The mechanic to proc the new buffs on Vorana's fourth ability is that you will need to kill the target with one blow using Ulfron's Descent. In most cases, especially in Steel Path to level cap, enemies are killed by Vorana's second ability or her fourth, not with the one-shot hit, but with a damage over time status like Bleed and Burn. If somehow, Digital Extremes will allow these status to count as kill for her fourth ability to proc the new buffs, then it would definitely make the Warframe a lot better. Players wouldn't be tapping to the Helminth system to perfect their Vorana build and combo, and will just be having a lot of fun with all their skill set of the Warframe. Now, I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Digital Extremes are looking for more feedback and they have said that they'll be updating the new Warframe depending on our feedbacks. So, I would like to know what else would you like to change in the Wolf-inspired Warframe? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.